Hello and welcome back to Vigda's Daughter's Mystical Musings. I'm Vigda's Daughter, also known as Erin. Um, last time I was talking to you about cultural appropriation and how uh, cultural culture specific terms are unfortunately often used as umbrella terms for things that may exist in other cultures and have some semblance of uh, similarity, which is very problematic as I went over. Uh, the example being smudging, which is a specific ritual of the uh, Plains Nations uh, indigenous people of North America. So what is the alternative? Well, the alternative is that you can learn uh, the other other actual umbrella terms for things uh, in the case of smudging the umbrella term is smoke cleansing a lot of smoke cleansing is still used by a number of traditions uh, but smoke cleansing itself is not a specific ritual rather it is a descriptive term of the action being used you will find smoke cleansing on a lot of things including the Roman Catholic Church, although they will be quite horrified if you ever say that. So what is the alternative? Uh, well, obviously, I just went over that. Uh, you can use proper, uh, proper umbrella terms. And other than that, what you can do is you can make your own terms. Uh, making your own terms is not a problem unless you then try and claim that your made up practice is thousands of years old. Then people will probably give you funny looks. So just don't do that and you're fine. When people ask me what my, uh, my practice is, I will look at them and smile and say, I am a modern constructionist, Germanic heathen with Germanic tendencies. Bit of a mouthful, huh? Uh, yes, if you are giving me a rather flabbergasted look, that's pretty much the reaction I usually get. And it's the reaction that I go for. It's why I use that uh, phrase to describe myself. I want people to ask me about what I do. What does it mean? How does it look? All that. I want to encourage those discussions. So... If you want to use your own term, absolutely go for it. Nothing wrong with it. Just be ready to explain it. And you can end up having some wonderful discussions and making some good friends along the way. Uh, so why, why don't you make your own term? Uh, you, can, you can make your whatever you want to be. Just understand that you are making something new. You are honoring what you're making by giving it a new name. Instead of calling what you do Wicca, because it, Wicca sort of kind of fits what you think you're doing, call it something else. Uh, Scott Cunningham, uh, the author, made his own tradition and called it Stonewall uh, witchcraft. Stonewall, of course, was a bit of an in-joke because the Stonewall riots were the beginning of uh, gay pride and the emergence of uh, LGBTQ and plus and whatever other things we're adding to it this week. Um, I honestly cannot keep up. I, I think... Uh, it would be nice if, if I could always remember what all what all is encompassed. But um, Scott's tradition, I can't speak for it because I'm not I'm not an initiate of it. Uh, what I know of it was very personal. It met his needs as a uh, a gay practitioner, and. He went from there. We can all do that if, if we're so inclined. Um, 
making making up a path, be it a uh, a which what you hope to pass on to others as a tradition, or just your own personal spirituality. As soon as you go and decide that you want to make something, please understand that you're laying yourself in for a lot of work. Making a path is not simply picking and choosing this and that and the other thing because, hey, they seem kind of cool. It's a lot of trial and error as you figure out what works together and what doesn't work together. And trust me, there's going to be a lot more of the latter than there is of the former. So, it, at the end of the day, I think what I'm trying to get across in this video is do not be afraid to make up terms. Do not be hidebound by the terms that you have uh, encountered previously. Just because something is popular doesn't make it right. So, please use some critical thinking when evaluating uh, a source that you're reading or a person that you're talking to and ask questions. Asking questions is great. Uh, it's the best way to learn things. It's also a really good way to learn who knows what they're talking about and who is trying to blow smoke out their ass. So that's a lot to think about and I hope uh, you do go and think and come up with some interesting ideas. Take care. Have a good night. I will catch you next time.